Hello everyone. Let's start a new chapter angles. Now first of all, let's try and understand angles. An angle usually consists of two arms and a vertex. Now here if we see, we have arm BA and arm BC and a common vertex. Now here this point B is a vertex because it is the common point. Hence the angle is degree measure between two arms having a common vertex. So this is this arc becomes an angle. Now here if we see <coughs> angles are usually denoted by a degree measure like 15 degrees, 30 degrees and so on. Now we come forward to types of angles. We have various varieties of angles. You see acute angles, obtuse angles, right angles, straight angle, reflex angles, complete angles. There are huge types of angles. Let's discuss them one by one. First of all, we have acute angle. The smallest form of angle, an angle whose measure is between 0 degree and a 90 degree is called acute angle. For example, let's take, now here if we see two arms are at an angle of less than 90 degree. Here it's only 30 degrees. Therefore, such an angle of 30 degree measure is called an acute angle. Next, we come to obtuse angle, an angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Take for example, here the two arms of this angle are at an angle more than 90 degrees. It is 150 degrees, therefore 100 degree, 150 degrees is an obtuse angle. Next, we come to right angle, an angle whose measure is strictly and strictly 90 degrees only is called a right angle. Now here if you see, two arms are perpendicular to each other, we also called right angles as two lines or two arms making an angle of 90 degree and are perpendicular to each other. 90 degree angle is usually denoted by two lines which are perpendicular to each other. Next we come to straight angle. Now here straight angle is an angle about a point whose measure is exactly 180 degrees. Now if you see this line, what we are basically doing is, at around point A, if you see the degree measure around point A, you have to measure the angle around point A. You start from here, you go till this side. Now it's a straight line. Straight line is always at an angle of 180 degrees. Please remember, straight line is an angle measure of 180 degrees. Therefore, angle around point A is 180 degrees. Reflex angles. Now, these are very important angles because students generally forget what are reflex angles. An angle whose measure is greater than 180 degrees but lesser than 360 degrees. Here we have two constraints. One is greater than 180 and secondly less than 360 degrees. Now here if you see there are two arms. We are not making this angle. Please see this. We are not making this small angle between the two arms. What we are looking forward to is the other angle. The greater angle made between the two arms. That is the outer angle. This angle is known as reflex angles. Now if you see this is greater than 180 but less than 360. This is somewhere around you say 280 degrees. 
therefore this is a reflex angle next we move forward to complete angle an angle whose measure is 360 degrees that is you start from a point and you reach that point again for example if we start running in a park now from the point where we start and when we come to that point again we say we have completed one round that one round is of measure 360 degrees same way if you see at this point i started making an angle at this point from here and i came in a circular way and i stopped here the starting and the ending point both are the same therefore this is a complete angle with measure of 360 degrees next we move forward to complementary angles now try and understand them very carefully a pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees those are known as basically complementary angles for example here if we see we have two angles one is of 60 degree measure and other is of 30 degree measure if you add both the angle sum that is angle a is equal to 60 degree and angle b is equal to 30 degrees what we get is 90 degrees which is a sum if we get that we say angle a and angle b are complementary angle remember these angles can be adjacent angles as well or oh, these angles may or may not be adjacent angles it is not a definite rule second supplementary angles pair of angles whose sum is 180 degrees now when i say pair please remember that means only two angles don't take 5 don't take 7 don't take 3 pair of angle means pair only two angles are allowed at that time whose measure is 180 degrees now here if you see angle c is making an angle point c here we have angle 110 degrees angle d we have 70 degrees so if we add c and d we get what 110 plus 70 which is 180 degrees therefore we can say that angle c and angle d are what a form a pair of supplementary angles next we move forward to linear pair what is a linear pair a pair where non common arms form a straight line or at an angle of 180 degrees are called linear pair that means if you have non common arms angle of 180 degrees it is clearly understood that the angles will be forming a sum of 180 degrees take for example now here we have two angles angle a d c and angle b d c now see very carefully d is the common point common vertex of both these angles common arm of both the angles is what dc non common arm is ad and db i here wrote non common arms are at angle of 180 degree now here if you see ad and db is forming a straight line if you see very very carefully it is forming what a straight line which is of an angle 180 degrees if such a case arises that is understood that angle adc plus angle bdc will be having a sum of 180 degrees now here if we see also we come to know that 110 plus 70 is 180 degrees but be why because of the condition that ad and bd which are non common arms are at an angle of 180 degrees such a pair of angles is called linear pair I hope you understood the lecture on angles. See you soon with the next lesson on pair of lines. Thank you.